When I told my family and friends that I was getting married, they were happy for me, but I think that they were cautiously happy because it all unfolded very quickly. Um, but I had this feeling inside that this woman was special and if we had a long time of not dating and not being close and a long time of this feeling that maybe this person was special and when the stars finally aligned for my fiance and I to get to know one another better it proved to be true that we just did seem to click we had similar philosophies about how we should be living and how we should uh, set our goals and then how we should obtain them and what those goals should be and the value that we put on tomorrow and the value that we hold for today and all of those things are the the foundation for living and if you've got somebody who has the same perspective on the pursuit of happiness then they're probably going to be a good teammate and I think that when I was able to convey that to my parents and my family they were able to then recognize it uh, once they had embraced my fiance and folded her into our family and had a chance to get to understand her and to know her. And my mother reminds me every week at least of how fortunate I am to have somebody so unique and special in my life. I needed to be careful about not uh, projecting my fears of what they, how they might perceive me as a person with a, a disability marrying into their family. So I just decided to be myself, carte blanche in front of them, and let the cards fall as they may. I'm confident that I'm a good person, and if they're good people, they'll be able to see this in me. And uh, her father and I worked together on a project building a privacy fence in, in my fiance's backyard. And I think when he saw how hard I was willing to work and how well I worked with him as a team of two leaders coming together on a project, that, um, that his confidence in me was inspired that I could be a good husband for, for his daughter, and he gave it his blessing.